Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Suni here and for the last week I have been doing an interesting experiment. I've been wearing a different face mask every day for the last week. I don't actually use sheet masks that often. Maybe once every couple weeks or once every month maybe. And I think the main reason is, is that they're kind of expensive, especially if you're using them frequently. Um, and I'm a broke bitch, so I don't have the, the funds for that at the moment. But basically I've filmed my experience using a different face mask every day and I've kind of done a mini review of the mask and how my skin feels and I was tracking my progress over the week and trying to see if my skin was, um, you know, if I was noticing any changes in my skin, if it was um, getting brighter or, you know, if it was actually getting worse. So I think how the video will be structured is that after this introduction, I'll put in um, the vlog clip from each day and I'll include my review of the mask and just, you know, my thoughts and experience. And then at the end of all the days, I will do a conclusion and let you guys know what I found during the experience and like kind of sum everything up. I don't know if you'll see much of a difference, but um, let's see. So today is day one of my mask adventure. Um, I am excited to see what happens, if anything, and yeah, let's get started. Today I'm going to be using the Innisfree Rose Mask, and I'm using this one because I have used a couple of the other Innisfree masks um, from the same range, but just different scents, so I kind of know what they feel like and I think it'll just be a good way to start. <laughs> oh, okay, the water just flew out everywhere. So one thing about my head is that it is quite big. <laughs> so sometimes masks aren't big enough for me, but this one is okay. Like it is reaching the corners of my face. Um, so size wise, it's good. Oh, I feel sorry for this. I feel sorry for my nose here though. It's not getting any of the mask on it. Let's just wipe some onto it. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this for 15 minutes and in the meantime, what should I do? Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes now. I'm gonna take it off. Whoa. There's still quite a lot of um, excess on my skin. I'm just gonna try and dab this in a little bit um, and to be honest, the mask, it did kind of start to fall um, halfway through, um, so I had to pull it up every now and then. Because it's the first one, it's a bit hard to compare it, because I honestly don't mask that much. But I'll remember what this one was like, I'll try and remember how it felt. And, oh, also with all the excess essence that's on this, I'd like to wipe it on my neck. And also like on my arms, is that weird? I just, I don't know. I just feel like I should make use of it. Some of the immediate benefits that I notice are that my skin texture is really improved. It really has filled in a lot of um, my pores and a lot of my acne scars, so my skin does look a lot smoother. I also feel like it is glowing a little bit more than usual. I like this mask, it's kind of what I expected. One thing that I am impressed by though is the effects it's had on my texture. It has really evened and smoothened out my skin. Um, but yes, I will see you guys on day two. It's day two of this mask journey and I'm running quite late. I haven't had breakfast yet. I need to leave in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do this mask for 15 minutes and be five minutes late, I guess. The mask I'm gonna use today is this Abib Gummy Sheet Mask Heart Leaf Sticker. That is a very long name and it says that this mask is designed to fit each and every face shape. So this should be good for my big head. Um, let's see if it actually fits. Oh, it says you can stretch it to fit your specific face. Okay, cool. So here it is. I am gonna, I've already toned and washed my face and everything. So let's go. This one is a very gooey. It's actually leaking, like there's water dripping off it. It's that moisture, like moisturized. It's that packed full of water. Okay. So it says to stretch it to your, it is stretching. Okay, this is cool, this is cool. So it is stretching to fit my face. I mean, it's not stretching enough really because my chin is still exposed. Oh wow, I should have thought about this because I've done my hair already and now it's gonna get wet. Oh, it doesn't matter. First thoughts on this mask are that it is very rich and heavy in moisture. 
Um, it just slipped down my face. This mask says that one of its strengths is that you can stretch it to fit any face shape. I'd say that's not really that true. Um, Cause you know, I know I've been joking about my face being big, but I don't think it's crazily big. I don't think it's that big compared to the rest of the world. Like slightly big, yes, but crazily big, I don't think so. Um, and this mask is struggling to fit me. I mean, it is, it is, but it could do a little, it could do a little bit better. Okay, but I'm gonna stress about being late and come back in 10 minutes to share the results. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Luckily, my friend is delayed, so I'm no longer in a rush. Um, the temperature is really bipolar. It was quite cold when I started filming, but now it's getting hotter, so I just don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna take my jacket off. <laughs> okay, let's take the mask off. Whoa. Okay, this one's a bit slimy, so maybe I shouldn't put it on my arms, but I've already done it, so whatever. There's still a lot of excess on my skin, so I'm just gonna try and tap this in to dry it out a little bit. Okay, so it's fully dried now, and I think overall this doesn't perform that much better than the Etude House mask. So anytime I say Etude House mask, I actually mean Innisfree mask. Um, I just got the brand names mixed up, so sorry for that. I think this mask is slightly better. I don't think it's massively better. It definitely was full of moisture a lot more than the Etude House mask. So I do prefer this mask to yesterday's mask. Okay, so I'm going to finish my skincare routine, and I will see you tomorrow for the next mask. Today is day three and I'm in a bit of a weird location today. I'm sitting on the toilet, the bathroom floor because the rest of my house is quite loud. <laughs> so yeah, this is a bit of a gross, um, a bit of a gross day to do the mask, but I shall do it. There's such, an, a, there's such a big reverb in this room. I can hear my echo. So today I'm using the By Wish Trend Hours Long Moisturizing Gauze Sheet Mask. I've used one of these masks before the exact same time. And you can leave this from 15 to 40 minutes. 40 minutes. But today I have time for 40 minutes, so I'll do 40 minutes. It says that this is recommended for those in need of skin improvement through deep moisturization. Okay, grip the corners. It's like this. So, okay. So it does come in like two sections. So I'm getting this to my eyes. This one is very, very slimy. It does feel just like goo. Is this one not? Yeah. The other two masks that I've tried, their texture is, it's not slimy, it's just very heavy in moisture. This mask is actually slimy. It is a bit more difficult to put on because it's in two parts, but that's not really a big deal. Um, and it did actually break as well, and I don't think I was too rough with it, so yeah, that happened. But I will come back in 40 minutes, I'm going to leave it on for the full time, and I'll let you know how it feels. Okay. I am back, it's been 40 minutes, let's take the mask off. Ooh. Ugh. This mask hasn't left a thick excess on my skin. The other two masks do leave quite a lot of excess liquid. I think this one has like seeped into my skin, probably because it was a bit longer, well, like quite a lot longer. So I think with this one, my skin doesn't feel that much more hydrated than before. Um, I mean, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel dry, but it just doesn't feel the same level of hydration that I have felt from previous masks. And it does just feel a bit more slimy, a bit more sticky and like there's some type of residue on my skin. My favourite one so far has definitely been yesterday's mask, the Ab Abib mask. And yeah, let's see what tomorrow's mask is like and I'll see you then. Hello, today is day four. Day four has been a very messy day for me. I'm usually a mess most days to be honest, but today is um, more, more messy than usual. Firstly, I got my hair cut, so I had to shower and wash all my skincare off which isn't actually good, like, I don't like washing skincare off or washing my face more than twice a day. So, that, that's the first step of the messiness. And the second part of the messiness is that it's summer, like, it's hot, but all my clothes are, like, drying. Um, I did laundry. This is, like, one of the last things I have available to wear. It is a 
freaking jumper. Also, it's so itchy and uncomfortable, like I hate this jumper, but I have to do. On a positive note, I got like some really nice water, like vitamin water. So this tastes good. This is like slightly improving my day. Today is um, the Apio strawberry milk mask. And to be honest, the reason I bought this one is that the packaging is really unique and a little bit, little bit cute. Um, even though I can't actually drink milk really because I'm low-key lactose intolerant. I've washed my face and I've toned it. Um, and now I'll try this. I'm kind of confused. There's two... Oh my god, what? So in terms of smell, which probably isn't the best measure of a good face mask, um, this one is so good, it smells so nice. So the actual mask, it feels um, thinner than the other masks, um, which I don't think is a bad thing because it does still feel like it's holding a lot of moisture, um, a lot of hydration. I shall leave this mask for, what, like 10 more minutes and I shall come back and let you know what it's like. So that was like 20 minutes, um, I'm gonna take it off now. Oh. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it either. But I will say the consistency is quite nice. It's not too heavy. It's quite a light, um, refreshing mask. I think it's actually quite interesting um, to just see what these different masks are like and how they perform because I was the type of person that, you know, I didn't really pay much attention to masks. It is kind of eye-opening in a way to see that these different masks, they actually do perform quite differently and they're not just all the same. Because <laughs> I kind of thought like, face masks like they're kind of all the same sort of thing there's probably not that much difference between them but i will tell you there is there's differences in how well they hydrate your skin and how much moisture they can actually carry in the mask there's differences in also the consistency and how they feel on your skin and how it makes your skin feel afterwards so yeah i mean right now my skin is it's actually dry it's drying out um which you know is not ideal um it's not ideal but um, yeah, it was a cute, it was a cute mask. Okay, I will see you guys um, in day five. Okay, I know the lighting is different, but um, I just thought I should tell you. As soon as I put the essence on, my skin started to tingle, and the only thing that I've changed is using this mask. So I don't know if there's like some ingredient in here which is um, irritating my skin when it's mixing with the essence, but just, I don't know, just a bit strange. Um, Take, take that as you will. I'm not saying it was due to the mask, but I'm saying that the only difference in my routine today is the mask, and this is the first time my essence has tingled or like stung my face a little bit. So take that, take that as you will. Okay, I'll see you in day five. So today is day five and it's really late. It's like half 11. Um, I've been quite busy for the last couple of days. So this is the only chance I have to do day five's mask. And um, what mask is it? Today's mask is by a brand that I am very unfamiliar with. It's by So Natural and it is the Facial Design Deep Black Clay Mask. So actually over the course of today, I've noticed that I'm getting quite a lot of little bumps. Let me just look again. Yeah, like a lot of these little bumps forming on my cheeks and just on my face. I'm really suspicious that it was a mask that I used yesterday because I do remember that after I used it, my skin was irritated and when I put on my um, essence my skin started to tingle a little bit so I'm concerned that there was some type of ingredient in that mask or the mask didn't agree with my skin um, and I'm also a bit concerned that doing a mask every day is just too much for my skin to handle because my skin is, is a bit sensitive and just you know putting loads of ingredients on it probably isn't the best um, so I'm gonna do this mask and then if tomorrow my skin is still getting worse and I think the masks are not a good thing to be doing. I will stop after day five and that's technically a week of um, weekdays. Do, do I pull this off? I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. So apparently this mask is supposed to be um, deep cleansing and improve your skin texture. So this is not a gentle mask, I'd say. Um, so I am a bit worried now that I'm putting my skin through too much stuff. I'm gonna leave this for um, 
40 minutes and see what it's like at the end. This has got really tight, like, you know, the black haired um, strips. It feels like that. And I can't really move my face. I can feel all the creases in my face. Anyway, let's do this. I'm so tired. Oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't hurt that much, but it's not comfortable. Uh. Oh. oh no, some of my hair is in there. So you know that feeling you have when you peel a black head strip off? It just feels like I've done that to my whole face. If you're looking for a black head strip for your face, I guess this is a good mask. So that rounds off my experience. I know there was only five days, but I woke up this morning and I noticed that there's more and more bumps appearing on my face and just small bumps that probably can't, that probably won't show on camera. And I haven't changed my skincare routine. I haven't changed, you know, what I've been eating or my lifestyle that much in the last week. So I'm 99% sure that doing a mask every day has contributed to these like weird mini breakouts. So overall, would I recommend doing a face mask every day? No. The first reason is because I think doing a different face mask every day, you're gonna be throwing different ingredients onto your skin and there's gonna be different combinations and I just think that it could be a bit too much for a lot of people's skin. And another reason would just be that it's expensive using a face mask every day and unless you're like an absolute baller, then I just don't think it's worth your money. I will say that I did notice immediate benefits after using um, a sheet mask on like the first day. Um, and I think if you have an event, if you have some type of function to attend, then I would say doing a face mask the night before or even the morning of that day is a good thing to do. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video and you found it informative in some way or fun or entertaining. And I will see you guys in the next video.